This is a Wikipedia page that changes every four years. And what I mean by that is U.S. presidents. This is a table of U.S. presidents. And now we could do this with any kind of data. And what we're going to do is we're going to scrape this or we're going to extract this into our access database. And so you might be thinking that I'm getting mixed up with Excel here. And no, I'm not getting mixed up with from web here. We don't have that function in Microsoft Access, but that's okay. We'll write some code and we'll essentially do the same thing. And it just takes a little VBA code. We're not using any third party type stuff or any APIs, anything like that. We're going to do this in raw code. And it's easier than you might think. That look right. Those of you that know history and that looks right to me. So yeah, I'm going to show you how to do that. You don't have to use just US presidents. You can do whatever you want. You can update it every time you open your database if you want to. And I'll show you how I did it. All right, in the video description, I'm gonna go ahead and give you the code to everything in this video. And I split it up into three sections. It's a little complicated. So I'm gonna show you actually how to add it in just to avoid any confusion. So you can see start first module and the start of the second module and so on. So you'll be able to see how this works. And so go ahead and copy this. And then we're gonna put it into module one. Uh, so this first one is gonna be a log of the data we get. It's a little unstructured and you'll see why I did this. Go ahead and click on module there and then just paste this in. Okay, then let's go on to the next one. All right, so same thing, start a second module. We're going to go all the way to the end of the second module. We're going to copy it. And this one is the actual data set. This forms the data set, the final data set. Okay, so that looks good. And let's just do this again. I'll try to speed this one up a little bit for us. All right, this third one is optional, but I think it really makes uh, this a lot cleaner. I get rid of some weird characters that you get with our data set, and you'll see what I mean, but I think it just looks a lot better. So let's go ahead and paste that in there. And then go to close out here, and we're good. All right, so now let's do something like, uh, let's open this in design view, and let's create a button. And so we can run all this stuff using the button. Uh, you can do this on load when your form loads. So each time you open your database, you'll get new data. Uh, but in this case, let's just do a button just for simplicity. You could do this however you want. And we can just name this that. You can name it whatever you want, really. It's got to give it some kind of name. I don't like the default name. Let's go on properties here and go on event on click. Code builder here. And we just want to add the names of the three modules that we made. Um, but first, let's just start with the ones that we need. That's going to be these two right here. And then you'll kind of see why. All right. So let's go ahead and do this. Let's see if it works, first of all. And don't worry, we'll go over the code in a little bit. Got our two messages right there. Okay. The table's actually there, uh, even though you can't see it. If you want to just see it, it makes you feel better. So open design view right there. You can kind of see the two right there. All right. So this is the quote, final data set. And you can see those weird things in brackets right there. That's what I have the third module for to get rid of those. That doesn't bother you, it's fine, but it does bother me. And so the code will get rid of those. He uses a little bit of regular expressions there. So the president's log is that unstructured first thing I told you about. It's like a table that we'll get to in a little bit. All right, so now we add this third module here, regular expressions one, we'll get rid of those brackets. So you want to put it in between these two. It's not really module three. It's more like module 1.5, but, uh, you know, it's optional. So that's why I made it module three, I guess. All right. So we got our three things here. Let's go ahead and run this again. And it's going to overwrite what we had before. So let's take a look now. All right. Yeah. So you can see those brackets are gone and the characters within them. So that's great. So I think it looks a lot better. All right, why don't we take a look under the hood and look at the code. Now, I'm going to go through the code pretty quickly uh, because I marked it up and I want to keep this brief, but just ask questions if you need it. So we're starting this first module here. You might have saw that before. And right here, this is the name of our sub. It's called uh, Import Wiki Presidents Log. And I'll get more into that in a second. And we're just defining our variables right here as objects, integers, and so on. And so the name of our table, once we import it, it's going to be called this. And this is the website where we're getting everything from. So that's the Wikipedia right there. And we'll go to that in a second. Now, right here, 200 basically means it's a successful connection. So uh, if all's good, we keep going. If not, we're going to get a message that it couldn't be retrieved. All right. And we're creating the HTML document object right there. That's pretty self-explanatory. Now here, we're looking for an element called table. If we look at the web page here, we can inspect. So we'll just go like this and we'll inspect here. 
Now we look right here, uh, there's a table. We wanna look for all tables. That's what we're doing in this one. This is just one way of doing it, not the best way even, but this is just how I do it. And there's clearly only one table in here. So what I'm just doing is a quick way of searching for all tables, finding the first table and then going with it. And so, all right, so that's our table class right there. So if you highlight these, it tells you what objects they are. And we can see that this is called a wiki table. So that's sort of an identifier. Let's go back here. So we see right here, uh, basically, we're looking for this wiki table substrate. So if you find that wiki table, then we're going to loop through everything. And uh, first, what we're going to do is we're going to just create this found table variable. We're going to make it as a, a no or false at first. And then uh, if it does find this wiki table uh, substring in the element there, bam, we're going to get our data. Basically, that's just how that works right there. All right. And yeah, obviously a loop because we've got the next die there and the, and the four. And so uh, if it's not found, you know, you're going to get that message right there. All right. And I'm going to skip through this because that's pretty much labeled right there. And you don't have to do this. What I decided to do, though, is since this is going to be kind of a fresh extraction each time, if the old table's there, I'm going to delete it and just replace it with a new one. So get rid of old data, replace it with new data. All right. And we're going to create a table right here. These are going to be our variables and data types. You kind of see that. Right, we're opening a record set right here. We're gonna go through each row of the table. So again, going through each one of these and we're getting data. Now we're not getting the pictures uh, and you can do that. Uh, it takes a bit of work though and I'm not gonna cover that today, but let me know if you have questions. All right, and I'm creating a date timestamp so we know when we extract this. You don't have to do that either. I uh, just find it's helpful. And uh, yeah, so looping through to the next row cleaning everything up here. And once everything is successful, we're gonna get this message and you already saw this message. So uh, yeah, so that's the end of the first module. We run that and we're gonna get something that looks like this. All right, so you might notice this format here and it is a little bit weird, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna pick the pieces and we're gonna create a clean table out of it. So right here, these are the column names and I don't like what they have there. I'm gonna clean this up a little bit here. Um, but basically, you're going to find that, you know, each column number has certain data. So what we're going to do basically is say, okay, we want to get name, get that in two. We want to get term three and so on. And we're going to create a data set. We're going to loop through this and it's going to look a lot cleaner. All right. So let's go to module two. Now, again, what we're going to do here is we're going to start with the sub right there. And we're going to define a few things like we did before. We're going to call this table wiki presidents and we're going to set the database to our current database. And again, if this wiki presence table is already there, we're going to replace it. We're going to drop it and we're going to put our new one in there. And this is us creating our new table right there. These are the fields and that's the field types and so on. And we're doing the term as text uh, because there's dashes and stuff in there. Obviously, you can change that if you want to. Uh, but we're going to use a little bit of SQL right here and we're going to look in that presidents log. And like I said before, we're going to just kind of pick certain data out of using an array, basically. And we'll get down to that below. I'll show you again here. We're gonna open the record set right here so we can uh, insert data. And this is a big bad loop right here. All right, so we're gonna loop through each row. We're gonna reset variables. We wanna make them null by default. Otherwise it's gonna get all screwy. And this is our array right here. You can kind of see zero. That's the present number, president name, two, and so on. Maybe to the right, I can just put a little table and you can see just so we don't have to keep going back. Uh, but you can kind of see how that works. All right, we're going to loop through each row. And once we get everything, we're going to throw it into this table right here. That's what's going on right there. And then loop on to the next one. And once everything's good, we're going to have this message appear right here. Okay. So a lot of the stuff I'm skipping over quickly, it's either commented up or I kind of uh, went over it before. But let me know if you have questions. I know I'm moving quickly, but I'm just trying to keep this video brief for you. All right, when we run these two, you saw what happened. We, we get a pretty nice looking data set, but then we got those weird bracket things. And so that's where we're using this here. This is the regular expressions, module three here. Now this looks complicated, uh, but I really commented the heck out of this one because uh, regular expressions kind of confuses people sometimes. So. This is what's going on here, you know, kind of the same stuff I said before. And we're going to look at that president's log. That's that first one, not the second one, um, because we want to fix the data before it goes to the second table, right? Again, going through the record set, we're opening that. And this is our loop right here. And this is our function, remove brackets. That's what's going on right down there. So basically, this is our pattern right here. It's looking for 
brackets and anything in between there. And what it's doing right here is it's going to get rid of that. It's going to be great. Now, if there's nothing there, it won't do anything. But if there is a bracket like that and there's something enclosed, it's going to replace it with nothing. Okay. And it's just going to go through the next record and keep doing it until it's all the way done. That's what we're right about right there. Okay. And then we're going to close the record set, release it, and bam, we're done. Yeah. This is key right here. If you want a different type of regular expressions pattern uh, and you don't know it very well, I might just, you know, do a Google search or ask chat GPT. That's what uh, a lot of people like to do, myself included. With regular expressions, it's not native to VBA, so you got to do sort of a little import. I guess you could call it an import here, uh, and we're just bringing it in from VB script. Now let's bring it all together. Okay, we're getting our wiki presidents log right there. And as soon as I hit OK, the regular expressions from this module, module three right there, is going to run. It's going to fix those brackets, and then we got our data set from wiki presidents log, which is wiki presidents. Maybe I should have. Name these a little bit better. Whatever, though. You get the point. Hit OK. And let's take a look. All right. Good. No brackets, I don't think. No. No brackets. And, yeah, we got our new date stamp right here. All right. So that's about it. Let me know if you have any questions. You could do this on other types of data, not just tables. It might be a little trickier. But, yeah, you know, if you could do tables, you can do anything. So, anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know if you have any recommendations for our future videos and as always i really appreciate the subscriptions and likes and i'm very close to a thousand please help me get there i really appreciate that in the meantime take care everyone